Welcome to my lecture online. So how do we use the proper notation to show that two figures are congruent or the angles are congruent or the sides are congruent? Well, let's take a look and see how it's done. So here we have two figures and supposedly they are congruent, which means that all the sides have the same length and all the angles have the same angular measure. Notice how they are notated here with one line through here, one line through here, two lines through here, two lines through there, three lines through here, three lines through there. So that means that those corresponding sides have the same length. And then with the angles, notice both of these have one little curved line. Here we have uh, two curved lines and here I have three curved lines again, indicating that those corresponding angles uh, have the same angular measure and therefore are congruent. So how do we write that the corresponding figures are congruent? Well, we do try to keep the same order in which we list the letters pointing to each of the corners. So here we can say that the triangle from A to B to C is congruent to the triangle from D E to F. Notice that we move along the figure in, this, in the congruent direction, almost if you want to call it that. There's no such thing, of course, but let me show you again. So we can say that the triangle defined by the, uh, by the angles A, B, C is congruent, and that's how we write congruent. We write an equal sign with a little squiggly line on top of that the triangle and now we're going to go in the same direction well it's not really the same direction how, we sh how should we say that we start from the same or from the congruent angle D so A is congruent to D so we start at the same angle we go to the same congruent angles B and E and then we go to the same congruent angles C and F and that's how we want to go around and that's why we have the order from D to E to F on this side D E, F. And so that's really the proper way of writing that they are congruent by having the same order as far as the congruent angles in that particular order. A is congruent to D, B is congruent to E, and C is congruent to F. How about corresponding angles? Well, we can write that the angle of A is congruent to the corresponding angle D. So we write it like this. We can also say that angle B is congruent to the corresponding angle E and we can write that angle C is congruent to angle corresponding angle F. I guess I should make my C a little bit bigger. There we go. All right, so for the corresponding sides we can do the same thing and notice that we go from A to B and for the same reason we're going to go from D to E because we want to move in the same direction or corresponding direction from the same angle AD to the same angle BE. So here we can write that side AB is therefore congruent to side DE. And we can write that side BC is congruent to side EF. And finally we can write from C to A, that must be congruent from F to D. And that is really the proper way of writing this. Notice that we always want to move in the corresponding directions on both of the figures from uh, angle to angle and along each of the sides so that it can clearly show that yes, they are congruent because they have the exact same length, moving from A to B is the exact same distance as move from D to E. And we can also show that they have the exact same angular measure by showing that the corresponding angles are congruent. And that is how it's done.